Sometimes I like to make all UI elements a little bit bigger, especially when recording videos. And that is why I'm using zoom level option set to 3. After saving the changes, all UI elements will be increased in size. Moving on, the following two options are responsible for configuring the title bar of the editor. And just because this title bar takes up most of the space besides the sidebar, I prefer to make it more compact. And to do so, we're going to install another VS Code extension, which allows us to customize VS Code UI even further. The extension is called Custom UI Style, so let's search for this extension and install it. After the installation is complete, I'm going to paste the following chunk of code. This is one of the configuration options that extension provides us with. And it allows us to change the look of the title bar. And please note that anytime we're going to modify settings of this extension, we always have to restart VS Code in order for those changes to take effect. And after the restart, we're seeing how the title has been changed. It definitely has become a lot more compact. And these two configuration options, X and Y, allows us to set the position for window management buttons. I'm talking about those traffic light buttons at the top left of the window. So if we'll set them to 50, both coordinates, X and Y. Don't forget that anytime we modify custom UI style settings, we have to firstly confirm those changes and restart VS Code. Actually, if those confirmations do not appear automatically, we can always open up command palette and run custom UI style reload command from here. Then those confirmations should appear. Let's agree with them. And on the next VS Code start, we can see the difference. But of course, it doesn't look good just yet because title of the file is kind of behind those traffic light buttons. So I'm going to fix it in the following way. Custom UI style extension also allows us to apply styles to individual UI elements by using CSS syntax. For that, I'm going to create stylesheet object right here and paste the following entry. This is basically CSS selector, which selects the title and applies padding left property. So the title will be shifted to the right side by 60 pixels. And to pick proper element, we can always inspect it by using developer tools that can be opened by pressing option command I on macOS, or we can always open up command palette and run toggle developer tools command, and those dev tools will appear. So in here, just like in Chrome browser, we can inspect any element to pick proper selector and test if the property that we are going to apply will actually make the difference. And once we're satisfied with the changes, we can use the proper CSS selector within this stylesheet object and override some styles for a particular element. Do not forget that just because those configurations belong to custom UI style extension, we have to confirm the changes first and on the next VS Code start, they will be applied. And finally, last configuration that I'm going to add in this lesson will be responsible for changing the editor font. I'm going to use font called Denk Mono. So let's save this configuration file. And on the next start, we can notice that the font used inside File Explorer as well as the font inside the title bar has been changed. But before applying particular font, that font has to be installed in a system. I'm going to leave a link to Denk Mono font in the video description.